Yep, but let us done with hip-hop station. It's Hot 1079. Your dirty J. Nick's Fly Sky on the radio. DJ Cash, the fly Haitian kid. I'm in the building. President, I'm checking in one time for the one time. So you know it's all about the dirty boys, man. We always interv- uh, interview, excuse me, um, famous individuals. Been trying to find this man real name. Can't find him nowhere on the internet. All I found is 147 Cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, that's not your name. <laughs> Cowboy the Wild Boy. Okay, where does it? Wild 147, okay. little 147. You okay, can call well, me where, where, where the 147 come from? Uh, that's the Sib. That's Sibley Boulevard. That's my boulevard I'm from. So you own a boulevard? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That's that's boulevard. Yeah. You know what that's what you talking about, man? So look, I heard you've been doing your thing in um, Chicago for a long time, man. Do you feel like 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 you underrated? I mean, I've been reading articles about you, like you know what I'm saying. It's kind of like people kind of slightly look over you until you yeah. drop this envy thing. Yeah, man. I've been the underdog. You know what I'm saying? How you feel about that? Because you're still young, bro. Like you said, <laughs> we had a conversation earlier. You put out three mixtapes, man. You what, 19? Right. Yeah, 19, 20? 19. 19, 19. That's, started- a lot of, that's a lot of music for a 19 year old. I don't never stop working. I got, we got three, four thousand songs put up, man. No cap. What's the environment of Chicago right now, as far as like, because I've read that um you guys actually have the lowest uh, murder rate in Chicago in years. Yeah, it, it's doing, it's doing better. You know what I'm saying? You really going, you really going to find out. When that summertime hit. Oh, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's when it's really cracking. It's too cold to be gangbanging when exactly. in Chicago. It always, <laughs> it's always low around this time. So is this right. the safest you know time saying? to go to Chicago if you want to just explore the area, get you a truck, yeah, you yeah, take the cold. through? <laughs> go ahead and take the cold because when that heat come, that heat come. Oh, so, man. So what is it like growing up as a black man in Southside <laughs> Chicago, man? Young black man in Southside Chicago, how you living, man? Man. You, how do you used to live? Okay, let's go first. <laughs> let's go back. How you, you used to live? Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. When I was when I was young, you know, five six, we moved from the south of Chicago and went okay. to the south burbs. Okay, you know what I'm saying. But I, we back and forth in Chicago because every other family member is there. Right. You know what I'm saying. Uncle, auntie, grandma, all them still Chicago. You know what I'm saying. We on the outskirts. That's where the one four seven come from. Okay. You know what I'm saying. Like, and in, in, in my hood, you know what I'm saying. It's a lot going on. So, I I took the the seal. You know what I'm saying? So I was close to there. I was staying there. So I took that over. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And my little brothers, my big brother, you know, gang them. That's so y'all what, just created your own hood? Yeah, basically. You know what I'm Organizations? saying? Organizations? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> At least you got some leadership roles but you know, But you know, we still in the hood where right. I'm from, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's still cracking over there. But everyday life, you know what I'm saying? It's just everyday life. You want to wake up? Uh, okay, you want to wake up, get you some money. Uh, figure out how you gonna eat. You know what I'm saying. Uh, figure out how to get some extras every day. So how does it feel like feeling that you're underrated and seeing all these Chicago rappers come up? That just made me work harder. I know I I know I work hard. You know what I'm saying. Right. I just started to overwork myself. We was going twelve hours for six days straight. Wow. You know what I'm saying. And flew out to Cali. Did that. Three months straight, twelve hour sessions, twelve hour sessions. They gonna hit me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's talk about your That's work. I was going. Your, with your worth ethic. Why is it so crazy? Where did you get your worth ethic from? Like, what made you click in? Especially at a young age, being like, you know what? If I really want to do this, I gotta, I gotta overwork. I gotta work harder than the rest. Having of a, having a point to prove. What's your point to prove? Prove everybody wrong. So you, you know really, what I'm saying? So you feel like people are really, really counting against you? Uh, was you it know from what I'm your saying? Peers or what? Yeah, yeah, the peers. Uh, some family members, you know what I'm saying, and I feel like I feel like I have a big heart, you know what I'm saying. So it's a, it's a big ass target, you know what I'm saying. Right. So so when 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 you love somebody and they tell you something, you know what I'm saying, you take it different. You know what I'm saying? So once you hear like family members or, or close friends that you well or people you used to call friends tell you like you know you can't do that. Well, you What's the support like job, with you know Chicago? Like media outlets, like the Chicago radio sh- support you, and it's definitely getting better. Mm. It's definitely getting better with 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 the support of Chicago as a whole. You know what I'm saying? Chicago, it's just a different place. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. air, everybody, everybody don't see eye to eye. So, because in Atlanta, saying? everybody sticks together. That's you know what I mean, and that's everybody what I was supports I'm the artists well, to a certain you know extent. I mean? To a certain extent, but when you, in 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 correlation to everybody else's. Well, everybody else <laughs> going on? Yeah, exactly. We like the Brady they got bunch. It you know what I like, mean? Yeah. You go anywhere, you go anywhere, and they gonna tell you like, yeah, them niggas in the A got it. Well, right. Them people in the A got it because right, you right. know what I'm saying. They, you know what I'm saying. But how do you? What, what needs to? 
change for Chicago to be like that? Uh, business. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got to start doing good business. Everybody got to start feeding everybody. You know what I'm saying? That's why I feel like what's going on in the A is like, you know what I'm saying? You got this person bringing this person some business. Right. This person bringing this person some business. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is getting some money. Everybody is eating together. You know what I'm saying? You, we got people in Chicago hungry. You know what I'm saying? So it's a, it's a different mindset up top. But even here, right, if we believe in the artists, that artist is going to be playing on every single radio station out here. They're going to be performing halftime at the Hawks game. Like, it's going to be, like, some serious exposure. Yeah. Does that happen in Chicago? Uh, It got to go somewhere else and come back. Wow. Mm. Definitely. De- definitely. Like, like the song uh, uh, uh get popping somewhere else. And then Chicago be like, oh, no, that's our baby. You know right. what I'm so, saying? So then bring them back in. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's how I crazy. be seeing it. You know what I'm saying? So consider you from there. You know what I'm saying? I don't mean to cut you off. Consider you from there and just like, is it? It, it seems like it's like in the Midwest. Cause I'm from St. Louis. It's a big. It's like a big negative vibe. You know what I'm saying? It's like that's almost, what I'm saying. That that's what's getting better by the day. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's I, not as negative. We still there. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't like how it used to be when I was a little younger. Right. You know when 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 my big brother and my uncle then was around. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of uh, hatred and negativity going on, and I was seeing it. You know what I'm saying? But as I got older, and you know what I'm saying, my generation and 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 people that I can connect with across the ways and, and throughout the city mm-hmm. is getting better. You know so saying? even with all those obstacles, how did Envy Me get popping? I think I think I want to uh, just to chime in. I think there was an article that I read earlier today before you even got here that said something about how Triller kind of influenced um, the, yeah. the, the Envy Me because there yeah. was a lot of kids doing the dance. Exactly. To it. Like yeah. I said, it got to go somewhere and come back. Mm. But really, the dancers... And the little kids, and I don't know who made the dance. It's a dance. <laughs> it's a dance to go with the the song now. Right. Like every time the song come on, you go see the little girls Dancing. doing the dance. Right. So whoever whoever put that together, that's appreciate how, you. Yeah, appreciate <laughs> okay. you. So let's talk about like dr- drugs and hip hop. We lost a lot of people in 2018 as far as like overdosing and you know what I'm saying and just just doing drugs. How do you feel about the just the, the drugs and hip hop from y'all generation. Like I'm seeing interviews, kids like offering to do interview and you wanna perp? Like, no, I do not want some drugs. You keep them drugs to yourself, young man. You know what I'm saying? How do you feel how do you feel about like drugs and hip hop, man? Man, it go hand to hand. How? Well explain it. Well, as far as our generation. Right. Well, as far as my wave. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's I don't know. I really don't know. Like when I I'ma tell you my story. When I was younger about Sixth grade, okay. seventh grade, I started dibbling, dabbling, and smoking. Right. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Smoking. So every time I get upset or get my feelings hurt or do anything, I'm smoking. I'm getting high. You like know anxiety. Yeah. And, and I got anxiety bad. So okay. now I'm getting high to cope with everything. You know what I'm saying? Then about freshman year, I was getting even higher. We was getting a Zan. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, keep coming. To the story. I don't know what is going <laughs> you know on. Right. So I'm glad you lied. Okay, it's going to end in the hey, ICU. Hey, I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. Like, I was getting higher. You know okay. what I'm saying? And then I'm listening to the music. You know what I'm saying? I'm heavily influenced by a different uh, wide range of music. Right. I say. So some of the songs I'm listening to is influencing the. Go on and pop yeah, you. Pop that one more right. It's saying it's okay to <laughs> you know do what, what I'm it saying? Like And that, I'm yeah. so young. You know right. what I'm saying? Magical, I'm only 19. So right. I was younger than this. Right. Who you was listening to in high school? You know what I'm saying? I was listening to everybody that you could think of. Uh, from Future. Oh, I knew you was going to say that. <laughs> future didn't put the whole world on drugs. <laughs> no, future. No, I just said Future because, you know, Future. Juice World said the same thing. <laughs> yeah, Future talk about Drugs, drugs a lot. So, yeah. of course, I was listening to some Future. Yeah. Uh, but I was also <laughs> listening. to a song called Percocet. <laughs> Percocet. I was, I was listening to, to to alternative rock. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I, I listen to soft rock sometimes. I was listening to Kirk Bang. I was reaching out, listening oh, to. Oh, yeah. You was all messed yeah, up. You were yeah, Wild boy. Yeah, for real. <laughs> for sure. So, 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 how did you get over that? So, it was like a prescription pill that you were addicted to or, or, or what? Nah. Uh, at first, it was just the, the, the boss. You okay. You know what I'm saying? The, the Zan. But then um, I ended up going to the psych ward. For oh, man, this story is getting... <laughs> you only 19. At what age did you go to the psych ward, though? I I, I went at uh, 16. Then I went again at 17. I went twice at 17. 
So what? Okay, Man. okay. Now what goes on the psych ward? Because I'm never gonna visit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you the only psych ward it, it, patient I know. It's calm. Okay, it's cool. I hope saying? so. <laughs> Everybody's on <laughs> Zen. <laughs> no, I end up going because I was just going through a lot, uh, living and out, out, being outside. You know what I'm saying? Being and being young. You know what I'm saying? I'm young, trying to run with the big dogs. You know what I'm saying? Or trying to be a big dog. Without the big dogs around. And you're not that tall. I mean, you and Roddy be about the same height. Let's, let's, cause I, cause I be happy when I see people that's short like me because yeah. everybody be way taller than me. So I be yeah. like, hey, my man, I'm going to support him. He got to be rich. Right. Okay? <laughs> so what do you do now about your mental uh, health? Like, Because, you know, in our community, the see, black community, like, like, people just think a breakdown like that is like, you, oh, you, I'm just stressed out. Yeah. But it goes deeper than that. You got you to gotta start. This is why I tell everybody that's going through something or, or touching touching the drugs or dipping and dabbing in, in drugs is you just gotta start thinking. You gotta use your 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 brain gotta get a little stronger. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I just said, I was I went to the cycle world a few times. So I was sitting down, just thinking about how crazy these other people is and why I'm not supposed to be in here. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then I got I got older brothers that well, I got an older brother that put me in tune with, with with a lot of books, so I was I was going into the outwitting the devil and uh, from Negroes to gods and mm-hmm. you know uh, looking into the Bible. So I feel like my my mental just got stronger. Right. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm still young, I just you know got a stronger brain. I think too with our community, like we look at certain things as it's not a mental uh, condition. Like for example, you said you had anxiety. That's yeah. That's a mental. It's def it's condition. definitely a mental thing. And that's what another thing that, that helps me too. Is like if even if you start to like, you know, sometimes you might end up slipping and start to steer that way again. Mm-hmm. You just gotta think like, okay, it's only in your brain, bro. Bring it on back. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you can only recognize that when you understand that it is a mental Because I suffer from anxiety and if you don't get a hold of it quickly, <laughs> yeah. it will yeah, bring see, you to I was the going it, for real. Yeah, I was it going through the anxiety me. attacks and I'm thinking they heart attacks right. and strokes. I don't right. know what's going on. I'm and scared. people don't understand you <laughs> really feel like you're going to die. And they they really look at me like shorty tripping like he's tweaking. I'm like, nah, I ain't tweaking. You I, me? I think one of the quotable parts of your song, the Envy Me song, is um, I was raised in the deep end. So like when you say I was raised in the deep end, I keep seeing it. A lot of people keep quoting it like over and over yeah. again when I type in. I'm not talking it. about I'm not talking about a place. I, I was really talking about a mental state. Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what so these folks just tweeting stuff they ain't never been, been <laughs> they in. They don't even know what they like know what they talking the, about. Yeah. Talking about the hood. Right. I was just like I said, like my, a lot of my younger times, I was I was dark, folks. Mm, I don't right. know. Like I was I was in a whole different light. You know what I'm saying? wasn't no light. You know what I'm saying? I was right. just was, Oh no! So tell me about this record, Fatality. Fatality. Yeah. Uh, Fatality is another uh, is another song that's kind of deep to me. You know what I'm saying? Cause I speak about having anxiety. That's when I was trying to uh, get through like my my last stages of, of having issues. You know what I'm saying? I made that song Fatality. So what's been the response from people for that song? Ah, uh, that song was that song was doing good locally. Like in Chicago, I dropped that song way before Envy okay. Me. You know what I'm saying? That was on uh, Anxiety. That was on my second tape. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Two, like two years ago? I think 2017. Yeah. Did you ever do a video for yeah. that? Or, or? Yeah. Okay. I did a I video. I gotta check that out. Gotta check that out. I know I saw <laughs> one video where you were in, like, like I think it was a Cuckoo video. Cuckoo. Where you were in, in the like, it was the psych ward. Yeah. How, explain that. Like, explain how, how was that experience just, like, actually reliving what you already had lived? I wanted to do it. Yeah. It was my idea to do it like that. Uh, I don't know. It ain't, I ain't feel like nothing. But I you just were, was you were doing fun. it. I you were doing it creative. for fake, but yeah. it's something that you really live. So it's like yeah. explain that to people, like how they how they can see that. And some people may see it and think that that was just like a concept. Yeah, I think some might live that. They might think yeah. it was just a scene, <laughs> right? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so wait a minute, you you had to you had to like the suit. With your arms wrapped, like that type of side war. I'm telling you, I watched the video. <laughs> like he said suit with your arms right wrapped. Right. It's called straight jacket. I'm just yeah. saying, I, you, know, you, know, you know, some people that's watching, they, they might not know. I'm just trying to break it all the way down to them, okay? You know what I'm saying? So that type of that type of suit, straight jacket suit. Yeah, 
Yeah, everybody don't get put in a straight jacket. Okay, which is, which you gotta be that's clear. For, we, that's that's we, for violence. We don't violent go visit. People in he the, said he was in deep in. How deep you gonna get? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He might be dangerous. Deep and dangerous. But we'll start with a deep. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, t- so how did family, What at this point, what did family think about you going to a psych ward? Like, did you have family members like, bro, I told yeah. you, little cowboy was crazy? <laughs> like, how was that? Nah, uh, my my closest family members was, was uh, being some type of support. You right. know what I'm saying? I ain't never talked to him about nothing I was experiencing. Like, we was going outside being little devils and coming back in and being a sweetheart right. at home. So my OG and my grandma and everybody in the house never knew, like, what that was, was really going right. outside. Like, me and Lil Bro and the rest of us, we outside going crazy. So when I when I actually just, like, you feel me? I'm like, all right, I'm old enough. You know what I'm saying? I get to telling them, you feel me? Well, right. What was I going through? So they 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 look at me different now. You right. know what I'm saying? They, they always praying for me and making sure. You know what I'm saying? I'm always in the light of light. And anxiety is something that is very hideable. Like you can hide it real well. Oh, like yeah. most people won't even know you're going yeah, through. Yeah, like yeah. like I was going through real bad anxiety. Like freshman sophomore mm-hmm. year high school, I was having to step out the class. Yeah. Go to the bathroom or. Then I got to a point like junior year at the end of junior year at the beginning of senior year I stopped going to school. Wow. I still graduated on time. And, and, and people still, don't know when anxiety gets bad enough, yeah. it'll make you almost hallucinate. Almost, You'll yeah. start seeing things that ain't there. <laughs> you, you start feeling like people against you for yep. no reason. Or like you walk in the room, somebody going to kill you. Just yep. like, yeah. Exactly. And then you just got to think about like we outside getting into trouble right. on top of that. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, and I'm, taking drugs. Don't <laughs> <laughs> get the drugs. I'm for real though. No, it makes but, it worse. Yeah, no, it but makes the, it worse. But, see, but, but to us, the drugs was helping. But it makes it worse in, in, in reality. Yeah, you know what I mean, right. it makes those those right. unrealistic thoughts even worse. Yeah, yeah, you know it definitely I mean? do. Like, yeah, we just get into a fight every other day, shootout, right? You know, all type of stuff. So, so now you got some traction, man. I know you're big on family. Where would you move your family to? I, I heard you talk about moving your family out from wherever y'all from. Like, what what would be the ideal place you move your family to? Uh, uh, Cali, of course. California. Yeah, in the hills somewhere. They not there now. Okay. I moved them far enough. Right. Right. Yeah, I moved Hello. them far enough. <laughs> that's good. But, yeah, that's the next stop, California. How is this interview helping you cope with, like, a lot? Because, like, you're reliving a lot of this stuff as we're talking about. Yeah. I can tell. It's like therapy, yeah. man. It's like therapy, right? <laughs> Almost. Yeah, kind of, sort of. That's good. Yeah. On top of we cool as hell, you know I'm what I'm saying? Glad we yeah. Today. Okay, yeah, I'll be going to real. interviews today. They be weird. Yeah. <laughs> you can't make it awkward for me, fool. Like, okay, I'm gonna get gotta, awkward. Okay, well, let's, let's go awkward. What you think of R. Kelly? Go ahead, let's go awkward. He's from Chicago. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Okay, y'all got Man, some what craziness all, going on. First off, I want to say, R. Kelly, I'm praying for you, bro. There we go. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We should all be praying for R. Kelly because... Once, I, like I said before, once you realize you have a mental illness, you may get help. I feel like R. Kelly has a mental illness, and he needs help. And he needs help. You feel me? But as long as he deny, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that he need help, he ain't gonna get the help that he needs. But you know why R. Kelly denies it though? Because I'm not. I'm, I don't agree with what he has done. Right. Yeah, but he denies it because he grew up in an era where he watching people like James Brown, Elvis. Elvis married his wife when she was th- fourteen. Yeah, you know what I mean. He's watching people like that, where it was like, okay, I'm not saying what he did was okay. On that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know too much. I on think that, the mature but... thing that you said is that he needs help and he should yeah, actually he just go out need there and help. get help. Yeah. I just, and I think we gonna if we gonna a freak man. <laughs> <laughs> but I think if we gonna Hell, if we gonna if we gonna you put him under, that. I think we need to put everybody. We need to put Elvis under. What, we need to put right, all exactly. these. Aquaman. That's why he was just filling another young girl up in that one video. <laughs> Aquaman, oh, yeah, Aquaman. Yeah. You do yeah. that play, Aquaman. Yeah. Yeah. I was rocking with man. Yeah. 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 I think everybody needs to be punished. I mean, a lot of, right? I'll, see, that's what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not Catholic down talking. Priest? I'm not down talking. R. Kelly or nothing like that. I just feel like go get help, bro. That's real. That's all it is. So, That's like, real. you know what I'm saying? Uh, ask for forgiveness for them people's families. You know what I'm saying? You pray and ask for forgiveness. God, you know what I'm saying? And go get right. You feel me? It ain't too late to go get right. Ain't too late. It's never too late. Let's get into the music, man. For people that don't know you, how many mixtapes do you have out as of right now? I got three projects out. 
First project, name that. The first project was The Chosen One. Okay, second project? Uh, Anxiety. Third project? Cowboy the Wild Boy. Okay, so where the hell did Envy Me come from <laughs> out of all these three projects? Right at the end of uh, the, the Cowboy the Wild Boy. Okay, like, so... Uh, we was in the process of making those those songs. We ended up finishing that. And we were still in work mode. Well, I was still in work mode, so we went to Cali. You know what I'm saying? When I went to Cali, we started doing the 12-hour session and those. And then Envy Me just came from a freestyle I just did on one of those nights. So how how was it dropped? Like, it wasn't one of them things like, because it's not on a project, so you just put the single out. Yeah, yeah. We just put the single out. We was from promoting um, Bro Birthday Party. Uh-huh. And um, he he wanted he wanted one of the new songs to go on the flyer, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's my manager, right? You know what I'm saying? He's just like, let's throw a song on there, and then we just threw "Envy Me" on there. And then everybody was commenting, they they ain't even talk about the part. They like, what's the song on the flyer? You feel me? So, so we, that's basically uh, how that whole song just took off. Yeah. So no clue, no nothing, no just dropping the song. It just was just a good put song. It. So did yeah. you when when you recorded when you got done what was your feeling towards that record like was it did it feel special or did it just feel like another song at that point after twelve hours of recording well once you get more in depth with my music all of it feels special okay you know what I'm saying especially a lot of the new music that I'm about to release and that is all so every time I finish a song I feel like man that's cold yeah, <laughs> wait like a little sidebar you say you went to Cali to record this why go to Cali why do artists go to Cali when like it, like Atlanta is like the it place with hip hop right now. Uh, just what you said. It's the it place for for hip hop. All the rappers here. That's what I'm saying. You know what so saying? why go to Cali? Really, why not I come really, here and record? I really just wanted to go dolo, just relax mm. and you know feel good, feel a nice vibe. Like you know what I'm saying. Like right. then I went to Cali before that time. You know what I'm saying. And I just liked how it felt. You know what I'm saying. When once I'm in areas and I just like. How we you feel. like it's like seventy degrees all the time. Come from Chicago, you know boy. <laughs> you get a different type of music. You know what right. I'm saying? You just vibe. All my music is just vibe. You know what? Every every artist that go to California, sometimes they sometimes tend to get stuck and they lose it. I know a couple artists that lost it. Like when I just got went out to California and just forgot about where they was from and didn't make the same type of music. But everybody say that California is a place that you visit. They catch a whole new vibe as yeah. far as the girls, yeah. the women, the lifestyle, Hollywood. Yeah, that's like, all. You we just went out there to catch a a, a nice little vibe. So what the girls looking like in Cali, man? Is it that big <laughs> of a difference from Chicago? Yeah. Y'all yeah. got some hood chicks in Chicago, bro. You got to worry about <laughs> pulling a pistol on you. Man. Or robbing you. <laughs> I done had my whip key before, man. You got one um girl, I would think we talked about her earlier, Anne-Marie. Did a song with her, right? Yeah. And cool. What, <laughs> <laughs> what is your relationship like? Let me like? leave it at that, Mr. Dabka. <laughs> she cool. She cool. I, I see her around. He said, don't make it awkward. <laughs> okay. Oh, how, 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 is, oh, funny y'all <laughs> how, how is your relationship with other Chicago rappers? Like I said, in, in, in my wave right now, like the my peers, right. the rappers that I look like is growing alongside me right now. Right. It's pretty cool, you know. What, what I'm about saying? the ones that's been out, like a Chief Key for Herbo and all of them? You know what I'm saying, like, you know, Sosa, that's big, bro. You know mm, what I'm saying? Nice. Like, my management, you feel me, is one of the members. Oh, hard. You know what I'm saying? That's his best friend. So I met him, what, two, three years ago. You know what I'm saying? He, hard. He's cool. That's big, bro. Herb, another one that reached out early, way before the buzz, and was like, yeah, you got it. That's big, bro. Uh, who else from Chicago? Like that? Yeah. So, so since you uh, like, yeah, Chance, Chance, that's hard. Yeah, Chance, rock so, with us. So, since you like three mixtapes in, was it one of those situations where, like, how do they feel about Envy Me blowing up? Did they? Is everybody in Chicago bumping? Like, was it one of them things like they were sleeping on, and then it, like yeah. I said, blew up on Triller, and it's like, okay, he got some motion going on. Yeah. Um. I feel like everybody, everybody was rocking with us halfway. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So when Envy Me started to, to, to get the motion, everybody was like, I told you. I told you. You feel me? It was like, I they told lied. you. They so. lied. It was lies. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it was lies. Because it's kind of like, yeah, I rock with you. I'm hearing you, but now they pushing. Like, so, so, everybody so, pushing. So how does that make you feel? Like, like how do you, how do you, how do you, like, body, like, hold that in? You know what I'm saying? For people you've been working, this is your third mixtape in. You've been out here. You've been grinding. Even as a young cat, you've been grinding and pushing. Yeah, for and sure. And then finally... 
the same people that you just sitting this record to before are now on your team like, yo, I told you I had yeah. you. <laughs> like, bro, no, you did it. It's all <laughs> love. It's still all love. You know what I'm saying? Like, Do you understand that's a part of the game or how yeah, do you? In- I understand what it was. I understand what it is. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't try to see nothing in a negative sight no more, so. You can't. It's love. That's a great attitude. To <clears throat> no, you can't. Especially when you got uh, uh, a fourteen million up. You got a tour coming up. Talk about this tour you got uh, yeah. coming up. You doing your first tour, right? This is your first tour. Gang, check it out. Check it out. Yeah, let me put my man's man's right here. Nah, that's the, dope. It's the Rockstar Wild Boy tour. You know what I'm saying? This Rockstar Roadie right here. This okay. Cowboy the Wild Boy. You feel me? You feel me? This is my brother. You know what I'm saying? Introduce yourself like, to the to the people, bro. You got to talk closer so they can hear you. <laughs> Rockstar Roadie, man. It's only in T, man. You know, we all the way from Chicago. Cowboy going crazy right now. I'm really here to support him right now. Right. So I appreciate him for even doing this. That's the, that's the start. That's important. Yeah, but Rockstar Wild Boy Tour about to be lit. So you, you, you know what's crazy? I, uh, what's crazy is like this is the first, this is the way the first time we met um, Wife and Lucci. Just like this. Somebody else was doing an interview into this as Wild Boy. I mean, uh, Wife and Lucci. Same thing with Gucci and Dolph. Dolph was standing in their cut just supporting Gucci. You, you heard so, what he said. You with the squad. Give <laughs> yeah. you a heart, little nigga. He mean it. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? And, 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 you feel me? We got a few other artists that's with us. You know what I'm saying? But me and bro going on tour uh, from the West Coast to the East Coast, really, we got like 25 cities locked in. Woo. It's hard. You know what I'm saying? It's 19. Going up, yeah. Proud of you, bro. Well, well, def- definitely, man, I want to congratulate you on everything that you're doing. You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk more about the music on a later date. You know what I'm saying? So I yeah, definitely pre- sure. appreciate you just giving us all the information because I think anybody that's <laughs> watching this or hearing this, you know what I'm saying, they could definitely know who the wild boy is now. Yeah, you know what? It's all love. If wild everybody thought you was crazy boy. in high school, now you explained it so they ain't got to think you was crazy no more. <laughs> <laughs> Walking out of class, talking to your damn self, okay? I ain't never cared what nobody <laughs> thought, man. Yeah, that's how you're supposed to feel. I mean, that's how you, that's how you work hard, man. You grind, man. So definitely salute to you, little yeah, bro. Yeah, for sure, And I, could, I, I just salute you for everything, man. Great interview. Yeah. There it is. It's love, Dirty boys. Matter of fact, before we get up here, <laughs> go ahead and introduce Envy Me real quick. Yeah, it's Cowboy the Wild Boy. His single. This Billboard charting his single, by the way. You feel me? Envy Me. It's cracking.